Wood Buffalo Forest is still evacuating and still under the constant threat of the beast. Everyone who lives there was forced from their homes as crews continue to do their best to stop the flames from spreading. Director Michael Mankowski, thanks so much for speaking with me this morning. Now let's jump right in. Why, why did you want to make this film? Uh, so I was born and raised in Fort McMurray and I was evacuated like a uh, majority of my community in 2016 during the wildfire. And um, I was personally affected by the wildfire and had all sorts of kind of selfish feelings. Uh, you know, how could this be help happening to me? You know, I was preparing to do my first kind of big feature film during that time, the day we were evacuated and that opportunity was taken away from me. And, uh, and I was shortly after that given an opportunity to work for the Red Cross. And I was one of the first people to come back to the community. And I recorded over 200 testimonials of people who uh, lost their homes in the wildfire in and around my community. And during that time, while talking to, um, you know, teachers and kids and indigenous leaders, uh, all those kind of selfish feelings I had went away and it just really put my life in perspective of like, man, you know, there's a lot when you're talking to a teacher who's got in a classroom and, you know, they've, they're throwing out everything or a child who's lost everything in their house and talking about their bedroom or indigenous person talking about their way of life being gone. So even if we rebuild, but, you know, the, you know, a fur trader specifically, you know, my way of life is gone because even though with we rebuild, the animals are gone. And, all these things kind of, uh, I just felt like I was healing in a weird way through this, this time that I was really struggling in. And uh, that became my mission while working with the Red Cross is I wanted to make a film that we could use as a mental health tool. And I thought by using animation, we could take some of these very heavy stories uh, and do a better job to showcase my region. And now you have a crazy all-star cast did you put out a call like how how did you get these cast members you have eugene yeah. levy you have martin short you have Catherine o'hara uh they were kind enough to join and i think a lot of it too is the shared experience uh you know it, i think of this as a local story but with uh, a global message and really um i noticed like martin short he was evacuated the day we recorded with him in malibu you know he's driving down everything in his car and kim basin actually lost her home and the wildfire and uh you know when she was reading that piece about uh a mother bear uh she was very emotional and uh it took her over three days to record her piece because she wasn't didn't realize how ptsd was affecting her uh you know and, and jeremy renner a uh, very close friend of his lost his house in the wildfire so you know he joined and shortly after that he became a volunteer firefighter because of the shared connection of you know how my community was affected and, and places in california i think that's why a lot of people jumped on so at the very end of your um film you have you've you've brought in the reality mm -hmm. you've brought in the footage of 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 the actual fire you've brought in you know the actual citizens um why did you do that because i do want to remind you uh that this did happen to people and uh, i thought with if it just ended on the song you kind of, you might you know not realize that uh you know this is a you know a kind of a reenactment of exactly of how i felt uh it was to come back to my community and uh and i wanted to do justice by all the people in the community when they're watching this to be like this is our story because i do think of this as not my story but uh the story of the community and, and all the voices that you know every single character is a, you know a person or a combination of people that you know uh, inspired me to create that fictional character so just to do justice by them 